Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you need to check the state of a UI switch in your XQA tests, but you're not sure how? It can be quite a challenge, especially when you want to ensure everything is working as expected. Today, we're going to tackle this issue head on. I totally understand how frustrating it can be when your tests don't behave as expected. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges when dealing with UI switch states in XQI tests. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user recently asked, how can I check the on or off state of a UI switch in XQ test? They mentioned that they needed to toggle the switch to a predetermined state, but were struggling because XQTest does not provide direct access to the UI switch state. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So why is this happening? In XQTest, unlike XCTest, you don't have direct access to the UI switch state. This can lead to confusion, especially when app state restoration interferes with your test cases. But don't worry, we will break it down step by step. And stick around. At the end of this video, I have a great tip that will help you manage UI switch states more effectively in your tests. To check the on or off state of a UI switch in XQA test, the user should first access the UI switch element using its accessibility identifier. This is crucial for identifying the specific UI switch they want to interact with. Next, the user can determine the current state of the UI switch. In XQTest, this is done by checking the value property of the UI switch element. The value will indicate whether the switch is on or off. After determining the current state, the user can toggle the UI switch to a predetermined state. If the switch is off and needs to be on, the user can tap the switch to change its state. Finally, the user should verify that the UI switch has been toggled to the desired state. This can be done by rechecking the value property after the tap action. Fun fact, did you know that UI switches were inspired by real life light switches? It's true, they bring a bit of that physical interaction into our digital world. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach shared by a user involves creating a function in Swift that checks the state of a UI switch. This function, named turn switch on if off, taps the switch only if it is currently off. Now, let's shift our focus to a different response. An alternative approach shared by a user involves extending the XUI element class. They suggest defining a computed property called isOn, which checks if the value of the UIS switch is equal to one. This allows you to determine if the switch is on. Let's take a look at an answer from another user. An alternative approach provided by a user involves adding an extension to the XCUI element class in Swift. This extension allows you to assert the on or off state of a UI switch directly by checking its value. Here's the tip I promised. Always set accessibility identifiers for your UI elements. This practice not only helps with testing but also improves accessibility for users. And there you have it. You now know how to check and toggle the state of a UI switch in XUI test. Remember, setting accessibility identifiers is key. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe for more tips and don't forget to check out our other videos for more insights.